What most people are trying to do to stay cool <laughs> these couple of days, Scott. That's right, Ken. And also need to stay weather aware because we have seen some storms pop up this afternoon because of some leftover outflow boundaries from storms last night. You can see on our Dallas sky cam the dark skies off in the distance. We don't have anything severe, but maybe some gusty winds and definitely some heavier rain. 97 at Love Field feels like 100 degrees, so we do have the cloud cover in some spots of North Texas. And as you take a look at the satellite and radar combined, there's the rain that's still holding together. All right, let's move this right our back just a little bit more to exactly what we're looking at. And you can see the shower activity traveling its way down, down through Bosque County, continue to make its way down to the southwest where we've seen several outflow boundaries. Those are those thin green lines that you see right there. So we see how we have this one storm develop southeast sides of Tarrant County. Around those, we have outflow boundaries happening. So this is weakening a bit, but we might see some more storms developing along that. You can also see more of those green lines indicating those outflow boundaries. So that's what I'm going to keep my eyes on as we go into the remainder of the afternoon to evening hours near Meridian right now, some of the heaviest rain possible. A lot of lightning also with these storms. And again, the winds possibly gusting up to near about 50 miles per hour. So here's the wider view of the satellite and radar combined. Not all of us seeing the rain today, but that cloud cover is trying to help us out a little bit. We still have this heat advisory in effect until 7 o'clock. All the counties indicated in orange. Uh, that is because of that feels like temperature near 105 degrees or higher. That's where we're sitting at DFW right now. It's 97 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, feeling like 105, very light winds out of the north northeast. And because we had a lighter wind today is why we had that heat advisory happen for us. So if we had stronger winds, that would help us out. But it feels like 106 in Keller right now to 105 in Fort Worth, 99 in Duncanville to 107 in Denton. Take breaks in the air conditioning if you can. Definitely hydrate. Feels like 104 McKinney to 100 in Breckenridge. So this will be the story the next few days and the next few hours in the mid 90s for us. Those rain chances sitting at around 20%. Once the sun sets, we'll lose a lot of that activity. We'll be down to 88 degrees by nine. The future cast shows that cloud cover also will thin out as we go into the overnight hours and then into tomorrow. Sunny skies back into the forecast. So we start out at 76. We warm our way up to 97, feeling like 100 to maybe 102. Now, you see the future cast for tomorrow showing that feels like temperature near the triple digits. Not too bad as we go into Wednesday as the big ridge of high pressure continues to build its way back to the west more and it loses its influence on us here in North Texas. So as that makes its way and expands further out to the west, it's also going to weaken towards the end of the week. That means a little bit of relief's on the way. But I want to let you know, here we are in June. We have tropical depression number two, 200 miles east of Cape Hatteras. That's making its way to the northeast at 18 miles per hour. Remains a tropical depression over the next 24 hours. Maybe a tropical storm if that happens. That will be tropical storm bill. Real fast, need to let you know there's a 70% chance of, of tropical development next five days over the Bay of Campeche. That could approach Louisiana towards the weekend. And Ken, that means for us, maybe a little bit of rain Saturday night into Sunday and cooler temperatures. But it's going to be a pretty hot seven days ahead.